Yo, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another one. This is going to be a good one, so stay tuned. Let's get right into it. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know why people do this. That is just crazy to me. You wouldn't think that a mushroom could act like a medicine, but it has some powerful effects that can mimic actual drugs so it's quite amazing so let's talk about some of the effects that these these certain nutrients and mushrooms can create the first one is lion's mane which can prevent dementia it's great for focus concentration memory why because it can increase the cell growth in the hippocampus which is the area that if you lose this you lose your memory you can also lose the hippocampus by being vitamin b1 deficient zinc deficient and by consuming a high carb diet that's why keto is very beneficial this part of the brain can regenerate you wouldn't think that a mushroom could let's, let's uh -huh. bring it back real quick right we were in um we we're talking about the black seminoles there yeah. they, they they started off in florida right yeah. so we're talking about um black people integrating into the, um, the indigenous um yeah yeah. Uh -huh. yeah but you see like the florida seminoles that are there now that's not original florida seminoles gotcha okay that's why if you look at the caribbean they have seminoles there too because black people are already here bro so okay. it's yeah so you tell me if you look at history yeah they they are put down like when they bomb all the germans uh people like they, they don't want to yeah yeah exactly that's but they don't yeah exactly. but okay where's ours if y'all bomb so many slaves over here then where's that at because it's a lot right you didn't bring nobody over here yeah you brought a couple of them i think it was like four or five percent you know what i mean but you didn't bring none that you say now, like what they do in America, the infrastructure of slavery was for them to win, to, for them to be able to gain. You know what I mean? Because they couldn't gain no one. So those seminal wars were all over that because of what, what had already transpired. Let's, let's bring it back real quick. Right? That is interesting how they said we like, we come from Africa and all that, bro. We've been everywhere. We've been all over the planet, if you really want to be for real. We don't come from, you know, we come from the earth. If you really be, want to be for real. <laughs> yeah. Your head has the spiral, which is the Fibonacci sequence, which comes from the rotating fields of magnetism. Sound creates magnetic fields. Magnetic fields create electricity. The sound of you talking creates torus fields, which permeates the whole of creation. Everything manifests as a torus field. Literally everything, including yourself. Your heart is a vortex, and the pulsing sound of it creates this electromagnetic torus field around your body. If you looked down on this electromagnetic field, you'd see the flower or the lotus of life, which is the Fibonacci sequence. This field spirals inwards into the head and out on the feet or the torso. If you look down on your head, this is why you see this spiral. It comes from all of the spiraling of your electromagnetic field coming in in the head, which is the crown chakra. Look at the symbol for the crown chakra. It's the flower, which has the same pattern as this. Your spirit is a spiral, a spiraling electromagnetic field. The Fibonacci sequence connects the macrocosm to the microcosm because this will go for infinity. This means you are a microcosm of the macrocosm. You are God made flesh. You are the universe. Your head has the spiral, which is the Fibonacci sequence, which comes from spiritual of course we bring crystals wherever we go we are spiritual of course we see 11 11 without even trying oh my gosh look what time it is. it's 11 11 we're spiritual of course we meditate 24 7 we are spiritual of course we get signs from our spirit guides in the sky oh my god it's my native american spirit guide laughing coyote hi we're spiritual, of course we drink from a shungite cup. Cheers! Oh, and give it a little attention. We're spiritual, of course we read each other's minds. What did I just say? I love you. How did you know? That's exactly what I was gonna <laughs> oh say. God. Love you. <laughs> right, that was funny. Water can be also like a portal. It can help you manifest. Water is pretty powerful. Yeah. It's actually infinite. Yeah. There's an infinite source of everything. So even water, 
everything in the in the entire space and time mm -hmm. all of it's infinite and you guys probably already heard that from my other videos so we have a little wizard there that's just randomly <laughs> standing there we have her out right now actually <laughs> and so this what this is living for sure we know that's living out you can pray to your water it's going to become healthier and it's going to learn that you're taking care of it you take good care of water just like good, take good care of a pet it's going to learn that you're taking care of it then it's going to want to you know feel comfortable around you it's not going to feel pain and that's what you're supposed to do so can it hear it. you when you speak to it vibrations yes so the words that you say like, are, could you communicate it. with it to le through telepathy Yes. If you say any negative things, that's when it's going to go bad. Like not being the healthiest. For your it's body. It's full potential. Yeah. That's high vibrational. Mm -hmm. Can it help you get the things that you want in life? Yes, it, it can. Now you know about this water. Now we know. And make sure to comment any other questions you might have. And if I see it, I will probably answer them. Awesome. Yeah. That, that is cool, though, how we can talk to the water. I mean... Not literally talk to it, but you know, it can, um, it holds memory, you know. So, all right, if you're drinking a cup of water, think about something you want to manifest, you know, and drink the water. Simple as that. If you suffer from migraines, let me show you what to do. We must drain our sinuses. When you're feeling that pressure in the front of the forehead, check your frontal sinus. If it's where the temples are, you're going to look at the sphenoid sinus. Now there's a couple main causes in my opinion. First is the dairy and the white flour. It creates a lot of mucus up here and in the upper respiratory system. Another is caffeine and dehydration. We have to remember that the lymph system is very predominant in our head. And things like caffeine and clear urine all day eliminate your electrolytes and naturally dehydrate you. So if there's a lot of mucus, we want to dump it through the nose. Things like saunas, and also rubbing peppermint oil on your temples can be very great. For hydration, coconut water, watermelon, and cucumber juice are all amazing. And draining that transverse colon will relieve a lot of pressure. If you want to go to the herbs, just grab our Drain My Sinus package at the link in our bio. If you suffer from migraine, Always grind like you uncomfortable. No matter how much money you got, no matter how good mm. your situation is, you always got to be thinking ahead. Always got to have tunnel vision. Always got to be having that chip on your shoulder like, I don't know what may happen tomorrow, so I'm going hard today. Game for sale. Always mm -hmm. grind like you You have five fingers for the five elements. The skull corresponds with the elements. The jaw represents the earth. Water goes on top of the earth in the mouth. Air goes through the nose. Fire is light in the eyes. And spirit is the third eye. The four physical elements are the four vibrational states of the ether or spirit. Five points on the body for the five elements. Ether or spirit is the base of all physical matter. The four elements are the four vibrational states of the ether. It's the most important one and that's why it's always on the top. That's why the middle finger is swearing because they hid the ether. Satanic people turn this upside down to put spirit on the bottom because they are materialists. They represent Saturn. This symbol is not evil. The word scared is sacred for a reason because they've made you scared of all the sacred symbols. This symbol represents the five elements of creation. If you want to advance in your life, I am now doing private one-on-one -on -one consultations. If you wish to talk to me, let's go on a call. You have five Yo, peace. Yeah, we jumping straight into it, man. The manifestation of love. You feel me? All right, now, just to jump into things, to truly love others, you got to love yourself. You feel me? You got to love self. Because self-love is the key to everything in which you want. You know what I mean? It's the key to relationships. It's the key to getting the desires in what you crave. It's the key to your wealth. It's the key to your passions, to finding your passions. It's the key to knowledge. 
It's the key to everything. Because if you don't love yourself, then you won't want to see yourself just prosper. But the more that you love yourself, the more you'll see like, I'll read that. Because you want to learn and give yourself that knowledge. Oh, I would, I'm going to treat this person this way. Because you get back what you put out. So how you treat yourself, the food that you give yourself, the way you clothe yourself, the way you make yourself just just feel, the words you say to yourself. I'm waking up, I'm winning the day. It all matters because that's the self. Yo, peace. Happiness is not a destination. It's a state of mind and you don't need to be in it every moment of every day. Not right. only is that impossible, but it's also unhealthy. Life is complex and uncertain. Ups and downs are normal. How do you experience happiness if you don't know? Sadness and pain. Hap uh, so, man, without sadness and pain, there is no happiness, you know? You gotta go through that just to even know how I feel, to even be happy, you know, or joyful, whatever, you know? That's crazy. Skin snakes really shed the skin. That is crazy. Interesting. I hear this phrase all the time money is a tool. So stop treating it as a goal. I hear this phrase. Love he used to be. Yamin Fawcia Jojo, a fountain of Kukumo, a dark baby Chicago. We've been in Chicago, we live in Chicago. Eat during the holidays, enjoy the holidays with your family. I'm not so radical to tell people don't eat the things that they like to eat. Eat what you want during the holidays, but the key is to get these things out. When you sit up during the barbecue and you eat three pounds of hammerhead shark brisket, that wasn't meant to be in your system, in the body. So the body has to hold on. The body has to store it and say, what do I do with this? I don't know what to do with it. So it sits on the body. Blue quinoa macaroni made with Siamese cat milk starch is not what the body signed up for. So you have to get that out when you're making plates of that at the, the, the catfish and you're eating that with cat or Siamese cat milk starch. You got to know that the body doesn't know what to do with that. And then after you're in the corner drinking two pints of Himalayan Husky moonshine and you smoking these blunts rolled, dried and marinated in walrus cream. So this is the stuff that you have to get out. Not only are you eating but then you're drinking and you're smoking. So live your life, but get these things out. Use the fruits, use the water, use the herbs. Get this stuff out. After a holiday, everybody needs to be cleansed. Eat during the holiday. Remember all of those pictures when we were growing up of the cowboys and Indians? First of all, cowboy was a derogatory term that the Europeans took on and it applied to them because cows are not indigenous to our land. So they were the cowboys. That's yes, right. indeed. Bisons are indigenous to our land. That's true. We were cattlemen. Mm -hmm. We were ranchers. We were cultivators. We were cultivators. We were the real pioneers, if you will, but we weren't cowboys. We were inventors. Don't forget that. We were invented everything that this society and that the world uses. And remember how they capitalize even today on our images. And remember all those pictures when we were growing up of the cowboys and Indians? First of all, cowboy was a
was like a whole like a whole nother dimension in there like a whole nother world it's crazy that is interesting this is a house-sized orangutan caught on camera i don't even know how this exists this is insane if you zoom in this thing is not a guy it's an actual orangutan and it is huge there's no way them things get that big. Look at it compared to that house. There's no freaking way. This thing is ginormous. Is this the missing link that scientists have been looking for? I mean, look at how gargantuan that thing is. My best guess is... I don't know, actually, because there is no answer to what we are seeing on our screen. Now, I know freaks of nature exist, but I if your ear gets ripped off, you can actually take some cartilage from your rib cage. Then a doctor will carve it into the shape of an ear and place it into a pocket of skin on your forearm. Inside your arm, it develops and forms new blood vessels and skin. Once it is fully developed, the new ear is removed from your arm. The new blood vessels are attached to your ear hole and the skin is carefully stitched to your head, giving you a new ear. If your ear gets ripped What? Would you still be able to hear though? I don't know about that one. Can you still hear? I don't think you can. I don't know about that. I don't know. Let me know what y'all think about that. That's crazy. This is the reason why you post to brush your teeth. We about to see what teeth butter under the microscope look like. As y'all can see, buddy got a little goop scoop in his teeth. Yeah. Please brush our teeth. And right now he's collecting the teeth butter for a sample to put it under the microscope. Ah, Absolutely crazy what y'all about to see. Ah. Make sure y'all got y'all Colgate or y'all fluoride free toothpaste ready to brush our teeth at the sinus. You see now, as you zoom in, what you are about to see is bacteria having a family reunion cookout in his teeth. And that little doodle smell we be smelling, you taste it, we smelling it. Yeah. Brush your teeth, man. Brush your teeth. Yeah, I don't know about y'all, but that just made me have to go brush my teeth again. Y'all let me know what y'all think about teeth butter under the microscope in the comments. Like or follow for more wisdom. Stay tuned. Brush your teeth. So I'm sitting in traffic, right? And this lady hops out of her truck. The truck in front of her stops. Too, and she's like, yo, what's going on? She sees the duckies are trying to get across the street. So she completely shuts traffic down, stops it, like brings it to a halt. But once everybody sees what's going on, like the innate nature and everybody just like how everybody just took over and just was like okay i see what's going on like it was just like a blissfulness just like a moment of just like peace serenity it was just like it just kind of moved me a little bit i felt like bro man from the fifth floor you know i had to pound my girl up one time for the one time w girls so i'm sitting in you look good for 95 that's that cause i don't run behind big ass and titties that'll kill you y'all young men y'all be screwing all these holes out here that's why y'all come up with arthritis and rheumatism your eyesight go bad your hair starts coming out when you are uh, 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 over yourself you bring arthritis on your skin every time you drop that seed in her yeah your bone marrow and all that stuff from your head to your toe goes inside of her and when you have intercourse with your girlfriend who always fall asleep first the uh, man. Yeah, I follow. And then when you wake up, she done stole your wallet, stole your car keys. She gone about her business. Yeah, I gotta get that shit back. Well, 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 you better kill her then. You got, you got to eat right. Eat Stay right. away from McDonald's and Burger King. Don't drink sodas. No soda, no no McDonald's. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, the biggest you can eat, but stay away from that. If you ain't gonna marry that woman, don't stick your dick up in her. You no. don't know what disease she got. Don't stick your your, your little two inch dick in every hole that's out here. You that's look right. good for ninety five. That's true. That cost I don't run behind. No, that is true. Uh, eat, protect your energy. That's how I said, protect your energy. And we outside riding around with J. Cole. J. Cole won't even buy no motherfucking car. It's the only way we was gonna find that nigga. He done rode around the damn planet on a bike. I don't know what's going on. 
Trade the truth got some shit going on. I'm tired. <laughs> what did he say? He drove the whole the bike around the whole planet. <laughs> like what? <laughs> I'm and we outside riding around. That is too funny, man. That's really J. Cole too. Does this actually happen? Is this what you do? Do you wee on the stains in the toilet to get it away? Do you not just put bleach down there? No. <laughs> Unfortunately, women cannot aim like that. Hey. I can confirm. I have done it before. I'm not <laughs> Cheese is I sugar. Done it mm. When they say you're lactose intolerant, yeah. lactose is a sugar. Mm. Okay, and not only that, and cheese is even more dangerous than sugar. Wow. Because it has these compounds in it called casomorphines. Does it sound familiar? Morphine. Morphine. Wow, wow, wow. It has the same opioid effect on the on the brain as morphine the drug. Wow. So that's why people are even more addicted to cheese than they are sugar. Wow. Indeed. And so, and so, if I hear you correctly, we should be avoiding cheese. We were not made to eat cheese. Yeah. Cheese is a byproduct of milk. Yeah. And specifically cow's milk. Yeah. Now, out in the animal kingdom, you will never see another animal drink another animal's milk. Yeah. Cheese is sugar. That's crazy. Stop being so quick to react to your emotions. Even though your emotions are valid, your reactions to them may not be. All your emotions are valid, but your behavior is not. Your anger is valid, but your yelling is not. Your jealousy is valid, but your judgment is not. Your pain is valid, but your drinking is not. You missing them is valid, but going back to them is not. Separate your emotions from your behavior. Emotions are always valid, no matter what you feel. But behavior is not. The quality of your life is based off the type of reactions you have to it. If you react to life's hardcomings in a fearful way, you're going to have a hard time getting through them. But if you react to the hardcomings like Bring It On, it's going to be a lot more of a movie. You can't change the circumstances in life, but you can change your reaction to them and it can possibly dictate the future outcomes of other situations. Where you are now is a reflection of all the reactions you've had to what's happened in your life. Every choice you made got you here and your choice is just a reaction to what's going on within your inner worlds. The Art of Getting Your Shit Together is an ebook and it shows you how to react to life in a positive way. It teaches you, okay, you got problems with these things right here. Instead of doing this, do this and you'll fix it. Comment Art and I'll send you the link so you can get the Bro, listen when I tell you this, man. I'm not trying to downplay you. I'm not trying to make you feel less than. I'm not trying to play you. I'm just keeping it a bean with you. Instead of you focusing on all this stupid stuff out here, you worried about women, you want to argue, you want to debate, you want to talk about Bronny and them, you want to talk about everything that's going on out here, man. But you're not working on yourself. You broke, my dog. Get yourself together. You out of shape. You ain't in shape. Go to the gym. Put your head in them books. Start focusing on building you a business. Get your money right. Get your finances together. Start working on you and building you up. You worried about all the wrong stuff. Bro, you broke. Somebody right now can just fire you right now. You're not in control of your own destiny. You can get fired today. You can walk in your spot today and your job today and they can just walk you up out of it. Nothing you can do about it. Start working on you, my brother. Get yourself in order. Go to the gym. Get in shape. Get your health together. Start working on your wealth. Start planning stuff out. Stop wasting all this time out here on nothing but gossip and entertainment. You're broke, my dog. You're broke. Man, so you just gonna let that nigga disrespect you like that? Bro, you don't hear me talking to you, man? Hey, you can't let that shit slide, bud. They're gonna think you sweet out here. Nigga, he said fuck Gofflin. You gonna let him disrespect your set? If there's any other time to prove that you a G, now's the time. Unless you really a bitch-ass nigga in a fucking costume trying to be like one of us. <laughs> just leave me alone, all right? Maybe it's right. Maybe I am just a rich-ass nigga in a costume. All right, nigga.
The average person is going to lose in life. Stop scrolling. This will change your life. You are here for this one time. You have to think in abundance. You can't live a normal life. These people do not want you to know the truth. They want you constantly distracted like you're about to scroll off this video. See? Albert Einstein himself said that everything is energy. Match the frequency of the reality you want and you cannot help but get that reality. This is not philosophy. This is physics from Albert Einstein himself. And I posted that in my community, the Cato Click, which is free on my profile file by the way you need to join it but what you're gonna do is visualize your most confident successful self if you constantly put that in your imagination save this video so you can come back to it and program your mind imagination is everything from albert einstein himself it is the preview of life's coming attractions visualize your highest self who you want to be the most confident successful abundant version of yourself keep that vision in your mind and stop programming your mind polluting yourself with all these random videos here on these apps bro program yourself keep that vision in your head save this video and like it and come back to it and most importantly join my community the Cato click get around a community of like-minded people on my profile the Cato click free right now hurry I love you the average person everything in the universe follows an immutable law of cycles there's a time for all things a time for birth a time for growth a time for decay and a time for rebirth understanding these cycles allows one to align with the natural rhythms of the cosmos and attain harmony and balance. Everything in the universe. I need more people to recognize the difference between speaking properly and talking white. Often people get this misconstrued. I've gotten this plenty of times where people tell me, oh, you sound white. No, I'm speaking properly. But I understand, I understand. Talking white would be something like this. So I definitely like a lot of extra whipped cream on my caramel mochiata. You feel me? You see the difference? I need more people to recognize the difference between speaking properly and talking. That, that is true. It's just, you this just is the most advanced shit on the planet. It is the only thing that you can read one year and go back two years later and it means something totally different. By it being written by what is called a pre-human intelligence. By it being written by the gods. You can read it all your life. So mythology is key. So David A. Will David Adams Leaning, L-E-A-M-I-N-G. David Adams Leaning. It's called The World of Myth. Then he got another one called Mythology, The Journey of the Hero. Get both of those. It's two books. The World of Myth by David Adams Leaning. And then Mythology, The, German, the, the Journey of the Hero. It's pertinent that you... You really want to tap into this stuff to find out what's really going is you read mythology. See, I didn't know why. There was a white boy back in the 80s was getting a PhD. That's what comic book later on is. Yeah. A white boy back in the 80s was getting a PhD in mythology. And I said, this motherfucker's out of his mind. Until I started reading mythology, shit, mythology is very advanced. Oh my gosh. Why does this happen to me? I'm on the way home, I see a stray, and I let her in my car. Come on now, it's okay. Oh. I currently can't get her out of my car. Um, she's a little scared, but we're working on it. So I got her out of my car, but now I don't know what to do with her. But she is so sweet. <laughs> Her claws are way overgrown, and the poor thing has hella fleas. The only person that can save you is the future version that is fed up with the current version, relying on the past version to guide you to divergent. What you doing? The beauty is, the choices from the past are the ones we rely on most to make the choices that'll last, but they are not the same. Come on now. <laughs> you see a butterfly asking a caterpillar how to live? No, because they are not the same. Come on now. Some of y'all still crawling around getting thick. Some of y'all stuck up in the over. Some of y'all in that transitional cocoon. Some of y'all got lucky fluttering from clover to clover. But it won't be long until that's over and I'm going to be like, told you. <laughs> you see, no matter what stage you in, the journey is subjective. The destiny is objective. Just be more selective with your perspective. And if you're looking for some more direction on your selections, go ahead and comment. CYC. <laughs>
to strengthen your self-neglection prevention and then get up, get over it, and get after it. Ha <laughs> ha! Choose yourself and let's get in. What you're about to witness is exactly why I don't eat McDonald's or really any fast food disgusting. restaurant, period. No, they all right. Right Nigga, maggots inside the eggs is crazy. And it blends right into the egg, which is why it's hard to see. Y'all gotta be safe out here and check your food. And it's not even just McDonald's. This lady found this big ass Pokemon sleeping inside her Popeye. Imagine taking a bite of your chicken and seeing this. No, if I would have just ate it, I would have been fucked up. And if you thought going to a sit down restaurant was safe, no. How the fuck is their food still alive? It don't even make any sense. All I gotta say is eating out these days is super sketchy. And that's why I recommend downloading this detox bundle. This will help you stay away from all the toxic food that and give disgusting. you the best solutions. It also comes comes with a full grocery shopping guide for beginners. All you gotta do is comment the word detox and I'll send a link directly to your DM with a huge discount. Love y'all family, stay safe. What you're about to witness is exactly why I don't eat McDonald's. This is showing you how every single one of y'all- Really a thing, like, that's really a thing. Like, your life can change like that, you know? Just off of like, the way you, you think, the way you, you speak a uh, lot, you know? So you really gotta be careful and, you know, be more, um, straightforward on how you want your life to go you know you really speak life on yourself right <laughs> well you know what food addiction really is as we as we say the word addiction it's really intoxication so it it's a drug it's toxins it's garbage it's waste that has been backed up in the system so it is a very tough addiction to deal with it's actually one of the most challenging of all because what we are doing in reality, we are producing the drugs within. We are manufacturing the drugs because any food that we consume that the body does not recognize as, as food that's fit for it, then it doesn't digest, it doesn't get processed adequately, so it just sits in the body and decay, it rots, and releases a lot of toxins. These toxins permeate the cells, and once we try to withdraw from it, then what happens is that since the body doesn't have to spend so much time digesting, elimination kicks in automatically. So the elimination is really the challenge. You know, the, the, the food comes back upstream and as it comes upstream, then we're in a very uncomfortable position because our elimination organs are not moving them out or evacuating them as fast as they're being released from the tissues. <laughs> well. You know, how long have you been an ER doctor for? I've been a doctor in practice for about seven or eight years now. During that time, what's the most fascinating thing that you've learned about people? Oh man, that's a great question. People don't care about anything when their health is on the line other than their health. And, and that's actually really important because we can really get caught up in our pursuit for business and money, right? And that's great because we talked about doing good things with it, right? But don't get so caught up that you forget the fact that you've got health and your family's got health. And that's something to be appreciated now because I've seen patients who have millions of dollars and they just struck it big and millions are coming in and they're telling me, you know, doc, that means nothing to me. I wish I could just have my belly back. This guy had stomach cancer because I trade it all if I could have my belly back, right? So I, I've learned that when it comes to humans, when it comes to people, we all want what we want and that's great. Great, but let's not forget what we have and what we have is health so I think that is important to create a balance in our life as we pursue as we take our health and make big things out of ourselves let's not forget our health too how long have you been an ER doctor uh, for I've that been is sad like you, you can really have all the money in the world and you can really be unhealthy it's uh that's why I like health is wealth really health is really wealth because well health how can you even enjoy your wealth if you got it it's tough. Did you know that you can make healthy ice cream? Oh my God, using any fruit. This is super straightforward. Combine three ingredients in a blender, blend, pour into an ice cube tray and freeze for a few hours. Once settled, blend again and pour into a container. You can make different combinations of flavor like pea flowers and blueberries, kiwi and coconut, chocolate and banana for the quickest homemade natural oh. ice cream. Did you know that you can make healthy ice cream? Oh my God. Finally, someone said it. We got into the habit of buying junk fast foods that have no actual food in them. We buy gallons of poisonous household cleaners when one degradable soft soap will do. We are poisoning our homes and wasting our hard-earned money for no good reason. Why? Because the advertising industry tells us to. They just want you to buy stuff. For example, if a company pollutes the environment or uses bad business practices, 
you don't buy their stuff, they will change. If you don't want food with chemicals or GMOs in it, then don't buy it. The minute we start taking responsibility and spending our money wisely, every politician, every corporation and leader around the world is going to know that we have woken up. Finally, someone's... Dude, when you really want something, just in my life experience and seeing other people, seeing myself, man, when you really want something, you're going to find a way, ultimately. And it might not be today or next year or five years or ten years, but this thing takes priority and precedent over all other things. Do I like it enough to get out of this comfort zone that I'm in and to make some sacrifices of my time, of my energy, of my effort? And even then in this life, it's not necessarily guaranteed that you'll get there. But I know what's not guaranteed is you being comfy and getting there. That's not happening. Three zero ways healthy recipes. Using any fresh fruit, gummies, soak simos overnight, pour it into a pan and bring it to a simmering point. Add to a blender and blend until you get a gelatinous mixture. Juice any fruit you like, add the juice to a pan with agar agar, simos gel and agave or maple syrup. Fill up your silicone molds and it takes just 20 minutes to set and enjoy. Healthy Magnum, our new house welcomed us with loads of fresh apricots which we're picking mm. daily as they are perfectly ripe and ready to eat. Cook the apricots with the skin on, add them to a blender along with coconut cream and a splash of lemon juice. Pour the mixture into a silicone mold and leave it to set in the freezer. In the meantime, melt some dark chocolate and add chopped almonds. Coat the magnum with the chocolate mix and add a sprinkle of salt to improve texture and intensify sweetness. Leave it to set in the freezer and enjoy your homemade healthy mm. magnum. Fruit leather. Just three ingredients, no fancy tools, zero mess, and the cherry on top, they have a long shelf life. Use the whole thing. Nearly 400,000 London buses of food vanish from our kitchen each year, damaging our own. Yet, it's barely discussed. Believe it or not, food waste is the product of a lack of imagination. Three zero waste, healthy recipes. Man, I wish I had my own little land with like, you know, healthy fruits and fresh fruits. That'd be good times for real. We're we making all type of junks. We're making gummies, we making ice cream. Dang. A few months ago, I found purple, red, and yellow wild clay and used the purple clay to make this face. I never ended up using the red and yellow clay because I thought it was mostly rock, but after letting it sit for a couple months, I realized the red clay was perfectly usable, so today I'm finally getting around to making something with it. To get things started, I processed the clay until I had enough for a vase and wedged it all together to prep it for the wheel. This clay felt silky smooth and was definitely the brightest red of any clay I've ever found, which was so beautiful but definitely stained my hands and wrists for a few days after this. A couple days later, I decided I wanted to try something I've never done before, so I added some handles and made a bunch of chain links and attached them to the vase. Once it was completely dry, I bisque fired it in my kiln and some white spotting appeared. After firing it a second time, the white parts turned dark red, which I actually thought looked really cool and gave it a nice aged look. I really love how this turned out and I'm so glad I kept this clay after all and was able to transform it into something beautiful. A few months ago, oh, I cool. found purple, red, and yellow. That's so cool. Two years ago, I retired from professional bodybuilding. The community, the culture, the industry as a whole had become toxic. I needed a new way to inspire my community and to express myself. Shortly after, on a trip to Costa Rica, ah. I had an accident. I shattered my foot and couldn't walk for over six and a half months. Shit. It was a dark mental time an ego death period of sorts. In a desperate attempt to keep myself in shape, my only option was to swim. I had never spent time in the water growing up. I was hesitant, but I decided it was a perfect excuse to explore the cenotes of the Mayan Riviera of the Yucatan Peninsula. Sinkholes filled with fresh water connected to the ocean through underground river systems, a system tied to the creation of the Cheeks Club Crater, where the asteroid that sent the dinosaurs into extinction is said to have impacted. In my adventure, I met a community. They would dive down to the bottom of the synods on breath hold, using pure meditation, breath work, and skill. All of the things that I felt I lacked, all of the things that I felt I needed to explore in myself. Free diving 
had found me. Three years ago. Super unpopular opinion. But if I could share my food that I need to survive my sustenance, why wouldn't I also be able to share my husband that she might need to survive, to sustain not only her life, but her kid's life? I mean, is that not the ultimate form of love? Super unpopular opinion. Here's some science I wish I knew before I was in my 30s. Don't add banana to your berry smoothies. If you do, it'll destroy their nutritional value. Let's explore why. Welcome back to 30 studies to change your life. Nutrition week. I live off of smoothies. Mine have dozens of ingredients with all sorts of potential health benefits, which we can go over at some point, but the core four have always been frozen binary. Uh, Benaries. Frozen berries, banana, homemade yogurt, and protein powder. Until I read this study. Quick review, one of the big categories of healthy compounds that you find in berries, greens, and all sorts of other foods are called polyphenols. They can help with heart health, brain function, and a lot more, if they get a chance. Turns out some plants contain an enzyme called polyphenol oxidase, or PPO, that acts like a polyphenol hammer. It smashes them to useless pieces. Fruits like avocado, peaches, pears, they contain some. Apples contain a a lot more and bananas contain an insane amount. It's one of the main reasons why they brown so quickly. Here's the full list. So researchers gave people either a berry smoothie or a banana smoothie, adding a set amount of polyphenols to each one. Then they measured the blood plasma concentrations of various polyphenol metabolites in the six hours following drinking the smoothie. With the berry smoothie, they went up and down as expected, but the banana one was bananas. Almost nada. The PPO poo pooed all over it. They also measured what happened if the banana Bananas weren't mixed into the smoothie, but instead just consumed on the side afterwards. It wasn't as bad, but still had a significant impact because they mixed up. Here's some science I wish I knew before I was in my 30s. Guys, should I tell Austin to go? Go with the news, cover it up. Here we go. News cover. Okay, let's go time. Special news bulletin. We're getting very disturbing, downright confusing eyewitness testimony now about the mysterious events that have been happening all over the country tonight. Law enforcement reporting a dramatic spike in the number of missing persons reports that have been filed over the last 12 hours. Okay, I understand we have a live shot from the White House now. Uh, I think uh, we're having some technical issues, uh, folks, obviously. Uh, my best advice at this point, folks, shelter in place with your loved ones until we get more information. Incredible technology now been developed where you can swallow a camera that's actually the size of a little tiny vitamin capsule and it gives you about 15 hours of footage from inside the digestive system. And what the researchers did was they gave one group of people a homemade meal. They actually made noodles from scratch, just from flour and water and served it in a broth made from water and vegetables and salt and pepper. And then the other group, they were given bought noodles from the supermarket that come with the sachet that you add hot water to and that was served with a blue drink, a blue sports drink. And then they swallowed these cameras to give the visuals of what then went on. And four hours after they swallowed the real food meal, all that was left was white fluff in the digestive system. And that's how it's supposed to be, really well broken down by that stage. But for the people who had the bought food meal, four hours after they ate it and swallowed the camera, you could still see the teeth marks in the noodles. So what that suggests is if you have food in your digestive system for four hours exposed to all of your digestive enzymes and it hasn't been broken down, it suggests that maybe there are substances in some of these processed foods that we have no ability to break down. But then further to that, the blue drink had actually dyed the noodles blue. And that's because the dye in the blue drink was derived from petroleum and we have no ability inside of us to break down petrol. So mm. a number of artificial substances and colors and sweet, incredible technology now wow. being developed. That's interesting. Somebody asked me why I refer to the neural melanated nine ether Nubian as a god or goddess. Um, and that's a simple answer. It's primarily because we're primordial, all right? We existed since the inception of the universe. Um, let's analyze what neural melanin is. 
Normelanin is a dark polymer pigment produced in the brain, sometimes called dark matter. What is dark matter? Uh, dark matter is sometimes called the invisible blue of the universe because it's thought to hold stardust and gas together in galaxies and form the foundation of the universe's structure. And for all the Christians who refer to it as blasphemous when we view ourselves as gods or goddesses, uh, your own book, Psalms uh, chapter 82, verse six, says ye are gods and children of the most high. Neuromelanin is dark matter energy and synonymous to the glue of the universe. Dark matter energy is basically the nuts and bolts of the universe, and that's what's composed of neuromelanin. That's what's inside of you. This is why there's such an attack on melanin, and they utilize things such as arsenic, lead, cadmium, and mercury. This is primarily geared towards the eradication of carbon. These toxic metals are literally a form of kryptonite to our neuromelanin. The toxic metals that they use is their attempt to try to hinder our connection with the sun. Typically, the sun powers us because those that have a soul, actually their soul comes out of the sun and enters through their solar plexus chakra. Imagine Superman not knowing he's Superman because the whole time he had kryptonite around him his whole life. With tremendous solar flares coming, we are about to experience a lot of changes. Some people may notice their clairvoyance being activated and that they're becoming more psychic. Some of you have been having more flying dreams and outer body experiences. This is the time to find your inner self. The primordial gods are re-emerging. Your ancient thoughts are going to start coming online. You're going to start having more dreams of past lives, remembering different things and seeing faces and dreams that you can rec recognize but you've never seen in this reality. Ancient family members and things of that nature. Spirit gods are going to be more prevalent to you in the astral realm. It's important that you're focused and thoroughly aware of what's going on. Gods and goddesses, we are being activated. Just make sure that you're continuing to ensure that you're preparing your cosmic body for integration, okay? Make sure that you're cleansing yourself of parasitic organisms. Making sure that you're detoxing yourself of harmful metals, okay? AKA the kryptonite for your neuromelanin. The best method for eradicating parasitic organisms is sweet wormwood, cloves, as well as black walnut, okay? These three will not only eradicate the parasites, but also kills their eggs. These parasitic extraterrestrial biological entities are another thing that hinders us during our ascension process. They make us crave foods we shouldn't eat and are also responsible for intrusive thoughts. And cilantro and chlorella is the best component detoxification mechanism for extracting heavy toxic metals out of the body, such as lead, cadmium, and mercury. Again, these metals are neurotoxins that have direct effects on our dark matter, aka neuromelanin. Aaliyah, what they did with her is the same thing that Quaker Mutua talks about in his thing, where he talks about they could get the energy of a young girl and put them in the bed with an old man and they can draw her energy. Aaliyah, what they did with Aaliyah is although they sacrificed her, they did the movie Akasha, which means black substance in, 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 in um, and it's also a goddess in India and in Africa. They, they got Aaliyah, they didn't really kill her right off. What they did was is they took Aaliyah, Aaliyah and they was doing sex rituals with her for maybe about a year or two mm. after she so-called supposedly died. Okay. And all. As a matter of fact, the sister I'm with, she got this thing where a lot of dead people show up complaining to her when, she, when they die. So she said Aaliyah visited her and was telling her about this. But it makes a lot of sense now. So they, so they do all kinds of uh, stuff like that. That's interesting. Uh, who knows, man? What, what really be happening to these celebrities, you know? Tauruses. And I got to look you in the eye as I say this. Stop acting broke. Stop acting like you don't have money. Okay, for those who don't know any better, y'all, a Taurus would be like, man, times are fucking hard. I've never had it this rough, but has a thousand dollars laying somewhere, <laughs> has a credit card with like a six thousand dollar limit sitting somewhere. A Taurus would be like, man, this shit ain't this shit ain't for me. This broke shit ain't for me. And what they mean by that is they're used to having like ten thousand dollars in their savings account. But now they only have 9,000. Man, this broke shit, I don't know if I can do this anymore. I'm scraping the barrel. Meanwhile, under the bed, there's probably like 2K. There's 500 in a drawer somewhere. They have stocks and bonds. Yeah, but then if you confront the Taurus about that, they go, don't worry about that. That's not what I need in my life right now. I need the dividends. But yeah, Tauruses, stop acting broke.
<laughs> Y'all let me know. Is she is she telling the truth, man? I I agree a little bit because I I I can get it like that. I ain't gonna lie. We begin this hour with major, major breaking news. President Joe Biden has just announced that he is dropping out of the 2024 presidential race. In a stunning letter that was just released moments ago by his campaign on X, formerly known as Twitter, Biden wrote, quote, that it has been the greatest honor of my life to serve as your president. And while it has been my intention to seek reelection, I believe it is in the best interest of my party and the country for me to stand down and to focus solely on fulfilling my duties as president for the remainder of my term. He goes on to say that he will speak to the nation later this week in more detail about his decision. We begin this hour with major, major. So what happens now with. that Joe Biden has dropped Donald out of the 2024 presidential race? U.S. President Joe Biden has just stepped down as a Democrat candidate for the upcoming presidential elections. In a statement posted to X, he wrote, I believe it is in the best interest of my party and the country for me to stand down and to focus solely on fulfilling my duties as president for the remainder of my term. He also endorsed Vice President Kamala Harris to be the Democratic nominee. Because Harris is already on the Biden-Harris ballot, she is the only candidate who has access to Biden's campaign funds, as per federal campaign finance rules. This marks the first time in decades that a U.S. president has not sought re-election. The Democratic National Convention, which is where delegates or representatives from each state come together to formally nominate a candidate to represent the party, is still set to take place from August 19 to 22. Nearly 3,900 delegates had pledged to support Biden. And while Biden can't transfer pledges to another candidate, his endorsement of Kamala holds a lot of political influence and it is unlikely that anyone will run against her. Biden plans to serve out the remainder of his term in office, which ends at noon on January 20, 2025. What happens now that Joe Biden has dropped out? How did I do with the debate the other night? Oh, yeah. oh amazing. Let's keep that old broken down pile of crap. <laughs> yeah. It's a bad right. guy. He just quit, you know. He's quitting the rest. Is that right? Yep. I got him out of there. <laughs> and that means we have Kamala. Oh. I think she's going to be better. Kamala? She's so bad. <laughs> she's so <laughs> pathetic. It's so uh. it's, it's just so f***ing bad. So. I just can't imagine. But can you imagine that guy with <laughs> dealing with Putin and... The president of China, who's a fierce person, he's a fierce man, a very tough guy, and they see him, they probably, they can't. but it, it, they just announce he's, he's probably quitting. Good. Very good. Yeah, that's amazing. You just keep knocking him out, right? <laughs> that's it. How did I do with the debate the other night? <clears throat> so, is, uh, is the Simpsons correct? Are we going to have a female president? I don't know. All right, y'all. That's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Got something from it. Got a little laughing. Got a something from it. All right. It's peace, abundance, prosperity, and good health your way. Make sure you take care of yourself. And if the weather is nice, make sure you get you a walk in, get in the sun, all that good stuff. With all that being said, I'll see you guys in the next upload. Peace.